when a object orbits another object, like uh, planets orbiting the sun, or even the moon orbiting the earth. So we have the earth here, maybe the moon out here, and the moon is traveling in its approximate circular orbit around the earth like this. <clears throat> there is a gravitational force that is acting on the moon at that position. That gravitational force is pointing towards the center of the earth. That gravitational force, I'm going to call it F sub G, is the same as the gravitational force that is applied to you um, on the face of the planet earth. Now the gravitational force for two massive bodies separated by a distance depends on the mass of each object. The bigger the mass, the bigger the force. Now as the distance between the two masses increases, the force decreases. So the gravitational constant times m1 times m2 divided by r squared is our gravitational force between two bodies. Fg is the gravitational force. M1 and M2 represent the masses. Mass is measured in kilograms. R is the separation from center of mass to center of mass. COM, center of mass to center of mass. And it would be in meters. G is Newton's gravitational constant. And it is 6.67 times 10 to the negative 11. And it is in Newton meter squared per kilogram squared. Now, as these objects orbit each other, that gravitational force is pointing towards the center so the gravitational force is causing the centripetal acceleration. So that means that G, M1, M2 over R squared would be equal to MAC. Now this M right here would be the mass that's doing the orbiting, so I'm going to call it M2. I'll label a diagram over here. We've got M1 and M2, and 2 is doing the orbiting. And it is at a distance from the center of the M1 body of R. Now AC, remember, is the centripetal acceleration. It is V squared over R. So making a substitution there, G M1 M2 over r squared will equal m2 times v squared over r. Now if there's an m2 over here and an m2 over there, I can divide by m2 on both sides. I can multiply by an r on both sides. And what I'm left with is that g m1 over r is equal to v squared. That gives me the orbital speed or linear speed of the orbiting body is equal to the square root of g m. A lot of times we use a big M to represent the body that is being orbited over R. So V is the orbital speed, which is the same as the tangential speed. G is the gravitational constant. M is the mass of the thing in the center, and R is the orbital radius.